Good afternoon, Williams Lake. Today is April the 1st, and we're joined by our Mayor, Walt Comp, to provide an update on the COVID-19 situation. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Mayor. You're welcome. April Fool's is over, so we don't need any April Fool's jokes right now. Absolutely. Um, I'd like to start talking about the announcement from School District 27 and Child Care for Essential Service Workers. Could you give us some information on that? Yes, there has been arrangements made uh, through the School District for for frontline workers and hospital workers and whatnot for, uh, I don't have all the details, but uh, you can certainly get get a hold of the school district uh, for the information if you need help and, and want help. I understand the province is, is dealing with it as well and there's, there's an application form that has to be in, but you will get that through the school district. Perfect. And continuing with frontline essential services, the Stampede Grounds also mentioned uh, support for those who are looking to self-isolate. Yes, this, we, we have the ability in the Stampede Grounds. Now, there's going to be limited services because it's still kind of chilly at night and it's supposed to get cold again, so we can't turn all the water and sewer on, but it would be dry camping in the, in the meantime. But anybody, any of the frontline workers or doctors or nurses, whoever, would like to bring their, their camper in and, and use it as a, as a facility, um, they're, they're more than welcome to. And, and, uh, we can, you can deal with that through through our, our helpline, which is 267-4861. Correct. And then um, with uh, DASH, we spoke about it last time. Could you give us a quick reminder about the Delivery Assistance Supplies and Help Program? Yeah, well, that's a service that's been it's a, a group of volunteers in the city with the Caribou Bethel and the, I think it's the Alliance Church, uh, have got together and organize some volunteers to help seniors, help anybody that's maybe homesick, can't get out or, or has sitter problems, uh, get a hold of that uh, number. I think that, oh sorry, that was the, I gave you the wrong number the last time. 267-4861 is, is for the dash line. If you if you need help shopping or, or other services, volunteers will come and assist. Perfect. And um, we've recently spoken about a procurement of protective equipment here at the city. Could you give us a little bit more details about that? Well, we were fortunate enough when, when we found out the hospital and, and ambulance drivers and whatnot were short of masks and whatnot, um, <clears throat> we had the ability or we, we were fortunate enough to find out that there was a bunch of them available. We ordered them and we received them. And uh, actually, we've distributed. We're keeping what we need because we need them for our crews as well down on this, the the uh, the sewer lines and and the work that we do at at uh, at public works. So, but we made masks available both to the ambulance service and the hospital, as well as uh, West Fraser donated three cases of of masks for us, and and we actually delivered those too. So that was that was a great improvement. Now, the Emergency Operations Center continues to run. We just want to make a quick reminder about a dedicated phone line for residents with questions. Yeah, that's the number I gave you before that was wrong. So the number, the dedicated phone line for our Emergency Operations Center, now this is not for health issues, this is for any other inquiries you may have, is 392-2364. And it's manned from 8 to 4.30 every day. And the city has also cultivated some information available on the website. Yeah, well, if you remember, I gave you that COVID number, 1-800-1888. Well, anyway, if you go to the city's website, www.williamslake.ca slash COVID-19, uh, or if you just go on the city website, and, and it will there are links to it, so you can get any information you need. Perfect. Any final remarks for the residents of Williams Lake, sir? Well, it sounds like from what we're hearing from, from down south and from the health minister is that the next two weeks are crucial. They, they could make or break us as a province, so we've got to be adamant to stay home. Don't go out unless you absolutely have to. Uh, and, yeah, stay safe, and, and we've got to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. And like I said before, you, you've got to act as if everyone is a carrier or has it or you have it and don't want to spread it to anybody else so please be safe stay home unless it's absolutely necessary thank you so much for your time mr mayor you're welcome